Okay, so today I'll show you how I make text animations using ProType Titler. And before we start, we can just go ahead and enable it in case you don't have it. So go to Options, Preferences, Deprecated Features and enable it. Just click Apply. Then you should have it when you go to your media generator and search for it. Let's add the centered preset. Just trim this a bit so it isn't super long. Uh, we'll just start by making a simple animation, then we can change the text later. So we wanna go and select this, then click on this arrow, navigate to child. So only one letter will be selected. So then we can do a animation for this letter and have it repeat for all of the other letters. Then you can just animate the property you want. You can just do a simple one with scale. So just click here to make keyframes. Then I'm gonna scroll to zoom in on the timeline and go to the start. Now when you do the animations, you might wanna know that if you click the arrow keys, it'll move less than a frame. So this will be a uh, one frame, then two frames, etc. But if you click the arrow keys, it'll like move a lot less than that. So let's do a six frame animation. So just go here, or actually let's just go to the start and then make the scale zero. So the letter is completely gone, and then go to the sixth sixth frame and reset this by just double clicking or enter the value here. Then we're gonna put a keyframe fade on this. So right click and then choose fast fade or smooth fade depending on how you want your animation to look. And do this for both of them like that. But now you can see that only one letter will be animated. To get the whole word to be animated, go to Toggle Cascade and just click on it to enable it. And right now it'll be super slow. So we want the animation to start earlier for the next letter. So click on Cascade Properties. And then instead of 20, we'll use like 2. That's what I normally do. And the delay curve, we can just set this to a linear. This is like so, it'll wait the same amount of time between letters. If we have a linear, hopefully that makes sense. And now we can see how our animation looks. So you should have something like this, I'll just extend this like that and then there's more stuff we could add like a little rotation so just add like 45 at the start go to the end keyframes and set it to zero and then we'll also put a fast fade here this is the same animation that I used in the edit at the start and what I normally use Super simple, but still useful. Then I'll also show like, if we want the letters to fly up and then come down, that's also a pretty normal animation. Uh, I'll just show you quickly. So we're gonna animate that Y. And at the start, we can set it to what, 2.5. Actually, minus 2.5, so it starts it down. And then here in the middle, we'll put it like a bit, a bit up, like 0 0.5. And then go to the end and put it to zero. Then the first keyframe, just a fast fade, and the middle one like a smooth fade, I guess. And let's see how that looks. It's a little fast right now, but 
looks like this. We can just extend it a bit for this animation. Because I think it would look better. I'm just holding Alt to move it while I'm moving the keyframes. So it doesn't change the values. Like that. And then this one in the middle. And now we have this instead. You can also do text animations using opacity. If we go to effects, then click on the opacity. Let's set it to zero at the start and then maybe in the middle or something. Set it to 100. Let's use a smooth fade. So this way you can add opacity in your animations. Then to change the text, just double click here and instead of just removing the letters you can see the whole animation just disappears so just click on control and the A button and then just type in whatever and also control A to while you, while you change the font I'll just use this one yeah, you can do a lot of different animations, not just the ones I showed, of course. And yeah, hopefully this helped, and if it did, leave a like. I'll post more tutorials in the future, and yeah, see you in the next one, bye.